Hey guys, Mark Phillips here, PBDS LLC, Big Goose Studios, what do you want to call it? I don't know, but today we're going to show you how to convert a bitmap image to G code to run it on a laser, on a CNC router, um, any of those um, NC code machines. So today we're going to use Inkscape for this G code um, development. So we're gonna. I've got a 2500 by 2500 um, bitmap of or a, a PNG file of a Nebraska Cornhuskers logo um, that I'm gonna import. This is the import screen. It is a bitmap, so we're just gonna accept everything. So there it is, and you can see up here at the top 2500 by 2500. Um, I need it on a. Um, and let's change this for giggles here. So that's from millimeters at 71 by 76 millimeters. I need it on a 150 millimeter uh, by 150 millimeter um, a piece of uh, plexiglass. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to change the width here to 150 here as well. 150 this should be millimeters and I did it again change the scale or the units before you change the dimension 150 okay display units is going to be millimeters as well all right so now the size up here we have to click on the object with the picker you got two different selectors here this is the object picker and this is the edit the path tool so you select this and then you go up here and we're going to put the object itself at 150 and since we locked everything's at 150 and we're happy we're going to zoom in here so we can see <coughs> what's going on okay so we are at 150 we're at 150 everything's in millimeters we're good now we're going to do two things number one since this is going to be engraved on a piece of acrylic like a mirror i want to engrave it from the back side so i'm going to flip this over <clears throat> and you'll um, when you if you engraved a couple things on the back of like a piece of glass a mirror or something like that you're going to understand why you need to do this so we're going to flip this thing horizontal let's show it backwards and then we are going to tell it to trace a bitmap so this is where we're going to go to trace a bitmap and um, inkscape has this funny thing when you go down and try to select sometimes a, a an object it won't do it and you've got to go move the cursor and come back to it and then it will select so we're going to go to trace bitmap all right <clears throat> So we're going to have an update. This should be inverted. All right. So we've traced the bitmap. We click the apply button. Once we've done that, we're going to go. This just traced, so it basically added another layer to this device. So if we move this bitmap off here and then click the original and hit delete, I want it gone. I don't need that. I'm going to bring that back in here. Center this up. <clears throat> okay now before we click this with a path tool nothing happened now we clicked it with a path tool after we told it to trace a bitmap interesting things happen that is the key step in this whole process once you get the bitmap converted to a path then it's easy from here so now we're going to go up to the extensions we're going to G code tools and we're going to go to orientation points first orientation points this is a window that pops up two points all right and then this is the real important one on here uh, 
we have this set at in millimeters 0 0.025 that comes out to be about 0.001 to 002 inches since this is engraving on the back of a piece of acrylic I'm using a v-bit that's going to go in basically a, a 0 0.001 inches or you know, two tenths of a millimeter in and we're going to click apply Okay, and you're going to see some orientation points show up here once it gets done working. So there's the orientation point. So now it's all happy. We're going to close this window. Now we're going to go to extensions and again, G code tools, path to G code here, path to G code. So notice how I moved down here and path to G code is it lit. This is a glitch that it does. Maybe it's on this machine or not. But so what I've got to do now is I'm going to move this back up to orientation points and lathe and graffiti. And then it's going to allow me to go to path to G code. Pop up window. <clears throat> I basically everything on here I've accepted as the um, the default um, preferences. This is the file name since this is the third one that I'm doing for this demo. I'm going to do number three. It's a trace bitmap. It's been flipped. This is recording, which means I'm recording it for the audio. This is the directory I'm having this bitmap uh, or the G code file go into. Save Z height. This is another important one. This tells the uh, engraver this is your safe clearance height over the top of all your tools and everything else um, at top of your part so five five millimeters is what I tell it because it's just a flat piece of acrylic this is where the path to the log files go now if you try to click apply here it's going to give me an error so that I need to choose another tab switch to another tab so I don't know why they do that so we're going to switch to the tab we're going to click apply only one error code is going to come up and tell it's going to tell me I didn't pick the tool and that's automatically assigned one and it's a standard v-bit routing tool for this one I really don't care it doesn't matter so all right path to g-code it's cranking went away now we're going to here is the whoops let me get back up to the selection tool click on this I'm going to move this off to the side this is the inform information on the background now we're going to go to the folder where this got sent to and you notice this is a file there's no it's not a G code file no nothing um, I got to figure out why it does this but all you need to do is put an NC after the file click enter and then we're going to open up candle now which is a software that I use for engraving and for running the um, the robo itself uh, the CNC portion of it and we're going to click open and we're going to select this number three file and lo and behold there's the Nebraska N inverted uh, where the tool head goes and if I were to start this up then here's again all your lines G codes so it's ready to go so oh, sorry for hitting the mic uh, but that's how you create a G code um, from a bitmap using Inkscape. Hope you enjoyed it. Later.